How about you, everybody? Welcome to this video. In this video, I want us to talk about how it took me about four months to graduate with a master's degree in cybersecurity and how you should too. Let's get right into it. The year was in 2018. That's when I walked on that stage. That's when they called my name. And at the time we had a Wakanda forever. So I got on that stage, I was like, I did it, right? I was very proud and very happy with what I did. Francois Baragora. So your question might be, okay, Francois, how did you do it? How were you able to graduate within four months? Well, that's a great question. Back in 2017, which is when I, I enrolled into the program, uh, their program came with a two cybersecurity certifications from EC Council, right? One was the Certified Ethical Hacker, that's the CEH. Another one was the CHFI, their Forensic Investigator Certification. And both of these certifications were from EC Council. What I did back then, which I still recommend that you do till this day, is that I went on and I studied for those certifications on my own, on my own. And then when I enroll into the master's program, I had those certifications already, which basically means they gave me credit for those certifications. So what makes this Western Governor University, WGU, unique? Well, they use this training model that's known as a competency-based model, which basically means your progress into the program it's based on your ability to demonstrate competencies, right? It's not based on the amount of hours that you sit in the classroom. No, no, it's based on your competencies, which basically means if you can prove to them that you know a, a particular subject, they will let you move forward. Basically, if you show up with a certification and be like, hey, look, I, I already have this certification, it's like, okay, got it. They move you to the next class they're not gonna let you sit in the classroom, learn things that you already know. So back in 2017, when I learned about this WGU competence-based model, I said, why more schools are not doing this? Right? Because this was awesome. Uh, at the time I was teaching at this school, I'm not gonna mention the name, and I remember some students will come to us with certifications something like a plus and net plus and security plus and we will force these students to sit into the classroom again right into the a plus classroom again mind you the student knows how to take computers apart they know how to put the computers back together they understand the operating systems but we will still force these students to sit into the classroom why they already have the certification to prove to us, look, I know this stuff. So if you're watching this, you probably care about education. And one of the things that you and I can agree upon is that the education system, at least in the US, I don't know about other countries, but the education system in the US is broken, right? There is a reason why we are $1.7 trillion in debt in terms of education loans, in, 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 in terms of student loans. Look, I'm not trying to get into the politics of this education system, but one thing that I can tell you for a fact is that as a student, you have to be smart about these things, right? Don't get yourself in debt if you don't have to, or if there's a way to avoid it. And let me show you how. So I have a two plan of action. One for those that are trying to get into cybersecurity and they're looking for a bachelor's degree. So how would you finish that in six months? And then the second part, I'm gonna talk about those that are trying to get that graduate degree, that master's degree. Or how would you do that in six months or less? So here's the plan. If I were to start all over again, here's the plan of action on what I will do right now. So let's start with the one that's looking for a bachelor's degree. First thing I will do, I will go to the WGU website and then I will browse to the online degrees and I go to the uh, technology section. Then under the bachelor's uh, degrees, uh, click on cybersecurity and information insurance, right? 
once you click on that, they're going to give you a little, bit, a little bit more information about the program itself. What you need to do here is to download the program guide. Scroll down until you can see the program guide, which is going to be under the courses. So click on that. It's going to take you to something that looks like this. And then once you're here, you can click on download this PDF. Maybe you can print this out if you want to. So this is what, what I would do. I will look over this uh, uh, guidebook, this program guide, scroll down until you can see the courses. So scroll down until I can see the courses, right? So this is the Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity and Information Insurance. So how would I get this done in six months or less? Here's what I would do. I will look for all the general education knowledge, right? Something like the applied algebra the critical thinking, the uh, composition. So I will look for these general courses and uh, uh, what I will do, I will take these before I enroll into the program, right? And there are schools, there are schools that you can go online to be able to take this, right? You don't necessarily have to enroll into some other program anywhere. You can just go to some schools online. Uh, one of them, it's known as a study.com. I'll put the link to these resource, resources in the, in the description section. So you go to study.com, you search for something like algebra, and then you, you can maybe pick one. And then you can talk to your program uh, mentor. You can talk to your program mentor at WGU and then ask them to see if this particular course is allowed to be transferred. Right. They can help you with that kind of stuff as well. So you go in here, you, you grab the algebra, you look over it, and this is a self-paced. Then you can take this, knock this out in a week, two weeks, a month. It really depends on your schedule. You knock it out, you get credits. So study.com is one of the resources. Another one is known as a Sophia, sophia.org. So you go to Sophia, you can go to courses, and then go to, for example, let's say math. And then you can pick college algebra, right? Col college algebra. And uh, here, here they have the college algebra. So you knock this out, you will get credits for it, right? This is for the general education. So once you knock out a few of these, right? They don't have that many. If you go back to the program book here, they don't have that many kind of a general education uh, classes, specifically for this uh, Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity and Information Insurance. So, but once you knock out uh, as many of these uh, uh, general education as you can, the next thing you will need to do is knock out the IT uh, 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 certifications. Go back to the program, to the program, and then click on the IT certification, for example. And right here, they're gonna show you the certifications that comes with your program. And here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a look at them. They have A+, plus, NIT+, plus, uh, SIG+, plus, Project+, plus, ASISA+, plus, you name it. They got a, quite a few of them here. So what you're gonna do is take these before you enroll into the program. Now this is how you, this is the secret for you to finish very quickly, is study these on your own so that once you enroll into the program, they're gonna give you the credits for all of these certifications as well as those general education as well. Now, as far as cost goes, if we scroll down a little bit here and go to that six months, uh, this uh, bachelor's degree is about $4,000. I know about three people that I, I have helped who finished this program and they didn't even pay this much. They paid less because they got scholarships. I, I will be talking about scholarships in a minute. You're like, okay, Francois, got it. I already have a bachelor's degree. I just want that master's degree. How would I go by getting that in six months? Well, uh, go back to the these online degrees and then click on the IT. And then right here, uh, pick the cybersecurity information insurance. Okay, once you're here, you can click on the IT certifications and then you will see the certification that comes with this master's program. The first one is CISA, Pentest Plus, CASP Plus, right? CISM, and then a CC, the Certified in Cybersecurity from ISC Square. These are great certifications. So what you can do, knock these out, right? Take them before you enrolled. That would be my recommendation. That's what I did. So for the CEH, this program, the same program I'm showing you right now, used to have a CEH and a CHFI certification. So they recently changed those and I'm glad they did because those certifications are pretty much 
you know, useless. That's between me and you. Uh, but you knock these certifications out and then uh, you enroll. All right. Once you enroll, a lot of the other courses are going to be the things that you've already learned from these cert certifications. Because I remember when I enroll, when I enroll into the master's program, uh, because I already had my Security Plus and all these other certifications, there were some courses on things like risk management. I'm telling you, those courses, they will only took me a week, just a week. I'm like, okay, well, what do I need to do? Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. I knock it out, mm, on to the next course. So is it doable? Absolutely, it's doable. You can do it in six months or less. But one thing that I'll tell you though, it's time consuming because this is a competency based, which means you have to prove to them that you know that stuff. Now you can do that in a form of writing a piece of paper. You can do that by demonstrating it, some kind of a hands-on experience, like a designing a network. And you can do that uh, by taking the certification, right? So there, there's a, a lot of ways that you can demonstrate your competencies. And I remember when I was doing this, I mean, like I said, it took me four months, but those four months, I remember some days I was doing 10 hours, like literally 10 hours yeah, with breaks in between, of course, and go to, you know, and all that stuff. But some days, 10 hours, some days, 12 hours uh, when I'm not working. So I would dedicate my weekends on this. Uh, it was a lot of work, but I was able to get it done very quickly. I have a scholarship program that you can en enroll in when I was a student. I enrolled into one of these programs and they gave me $2,000, right? They gave me $2,000 and uh, uh, I used it. But here's the the catch with, with their scholarship program. Well, they gave me $2,000, but that $2,000 that $2, were for, was for four years, right? Not six months, was for four years. So basically every six months, they only gave me $500. Yeah, that's the thing I didn't like about their scholarship program. So basically, if you stay there for four years, you get the full 2000. At least that's what was with my kind of a scholarship that I got from them. But they have a quite a few serve, uh, uh, scholarships. So let's go to the scholarship pro, uh, uh, website here and check it out here. If we scroll down where we can see grants and scholarships and, 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 and you know, pick IT, you can see that, you know, if you're a woman, they have some money for you, right? If you are just trying to get into cybersecurity, they got, you know, $5,000 that they can give you. Tech Everywhere Scholarship. And these are these scholarships are really easy to get. I remember with mine, all I had to do was put in, like, write a little essay, a little essay telling them why I think I qualified for that particular scholarship. And like I said, they gave me $2,000. Uh, the only regret is that they didn't give me the whole thing. They only gave me 500 because I finished quickly. But if I if I would have stayed here there for about four years, I would have gotten the full two thousand dollars. They apply, go for this five thousand. You might get it, and especially if you're a minority, if you're a female in cybersecurity, this is it. There's a lot of WGU. There's a lot of uh, programs uh, for women. Uh, for women that are trying to get into cybersecurity. If you got value out of this video, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow this YouTube community and I will see you in the next video.